going on YouTube? Well, it's been a, about a month, I think maybe even a couple, a week, over a month since my last video. So what's going on in Canada? So right now there are, as far as uh, rigs goes, last time I looked there were, was it 47 drilling rigs in Alberta? I think. I'd have to double check that. Around 40 some. Um, lots of service rigs. There's lots of work there. Um, because there's, I think, because there's such an abundance of guys with experience, it just doesn't make any sense to have train a guy from scratch. But, still plug it away. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, it is six degrees in Alberta. It is eight o'clock, eight thirty. Going to get some breakfast. So, how are things going as far as the jobs goes? Well, I'm still working for the concrete waterproofing, our commercial waterproofing. It's a decent company. Um, I just spent uh, the past week in um, Calgary sharing a motel with a kid half my age. That's fun. Uh, gets a little old after a couple days. But I don't know. Um, this company I'm with, everyone says there's opportunities, opportunities, opportunities. I see a whole lot of guys in this company who've been here you know, six, seven years, and they're doing exactly what they were doing when they started this company. So, you know, I didn't come to Alberta so I can make pocket change. They're paying me pretty good. I'm not going to say how much, but they're paying me pretty decent. But it's not enough to achieve the goals I want to achieve. I didn't come out here to fucking make, you know... 35,000 a year, 40,000. I came out here to make 100,000 a year or more. And the only way I'm gonna do that is if I'm working massive, massive hours. Now, I happen to come out here the worst time possible when things start to wind down and the weather starts changing and uh, everything else. So, as far as that goes, that's Bad timing on my part, I guess. Um, everything else going good, I guess. Uh, I miss my little dog. He's in Kingston. Uh, my cat still in Kingston. Uh, I miss my apartment, my home. I am going back to Edmonton, or I'm going back to Kingston, November 12th. So I'll do uh, my second next video will be from my home, thankfully. I don't know. Uh, as far as the job market out here goes, you've got to... Uh, well, the funny thing is, everyone keeps saying, oh, there's no jobs in Alberta. There's no jobs in Alberta. That's bullshit. You know who says there's no jobs in Alberta? The people who aren't willing to take jobs that don't pay 100000 a year. That's who. Because I can tell you, since I've been here in Alberta, I have turned down about two dozen jobs so far. So... You know, this whole, there's no jobs in Alberta crap, that's bullshit. You know, there are a lot of jobs, and it's kind of funny because things kind of work differently here. You see, in Kingston, or Ontario, 10 people apply for a job. And, or, uh, 
You put in 10 applications, you get two replies. Out here, you put in 10 applications, you're going to get eight replies. People are desperate for reliable, hardworking, fit guys. Uh, it's crazy. I don't, I don't know how the hell they say there's no jobs out here because that's bullshit. There are lots of jobs here. So, um, if you're looking for jobs, Alberta is a damn good place to find jobs. It's not quite as good as Ontario, but it's a lot easier to get hired out here than it is Ontario. And I'm not sure if it's because of the drug problem out here or what, but it is really easy to get a job out here. Like I said, I've turned down about two dozen jobs since I've been here. I mean, none of them really amazing. Like, no camp jobs, no no rig jobs. Nothing like that yet. But, I don't know. If you're looking for jobs, Alberta is a great fucking place to be if you're a hard worker. You know? And if you're a hard worker, it's going to show right quickly. If you're a lazy asshole, stay in Ontario because even though you're probably going to be hired, even a lazy asshole will be hired out here, I don't think you're going to have any opportunity for anything else than just grunt work. But if you don't mind just grunt work, shit. You can apply for 20 jobs and get 18 replies. I mean, it's really that easy to get jobs out here. So when people tell you, oh, there's a crunch and a financial crisis and 25% unemployment, well, that's true. What they're not telling you is there are millions of jobs out here for guys who actually want to work. The company I'm working for has gone through hundreds of employees over the last 10 years because they just can't keep guys. Now, honestly, a lot of that's the company's fault. But still, if you want work out here, it's easy to get. You just got to try. So, part of chasing your dreams, like I said in the other video, was... A willingness to give up everything. To drop everything and chase your dreams. Well, I've done that. I'm here. I kind of feel like I'm in uh, pause mode right now because I'm not achieving what I want to achieve financially. But I'm also paying rent in two different cities. I'm also paying unbelievable insurance rates for my motorcycle which is costing me a freaking killing I'm gonna solve that next month and uh, yeah so I don't know anybody who says there's no jobs out here is lying there are lots and lots and lots of jobs out here <laughs> even with no education now, if you got an IT grad, if you're an IT grad, or if um, you're a geological doctorate candidate uh, in geological studies, <laughs> yeah, you you know you're starting at 120 thousand a year starting salary. Uh, now, the problem with oil rigs and everything out here right now is that there's such an abundance of guys with years and years experience who want on the drilling rigs that they're just, there's no need to hire inexperienced guys and train them and everything else and go through the process of hiring 10 guys over a year and only keeping one of them, you know? So there, it just doesn't make financial sense, especially when you've got like, you know, 50 rigs, drilling rigs going and, uh, you know, like 250 service rigs. So it doesn't make any sense for people to, to hire a greenback, you know, but, you know, I'm still plugging away, uh, precision drilling, CWC, they keep looking at my application, no replies yet, but who knows, um, 
I don't know, we're coming up to my third month in the company and I'm going to talk to the manager because I don't know whether I want to stick around. Um, my foreman is a kid who doesn't know anything about life, doesn't have his own life together, and uh, they call him a foreman. I can work for anybody. What I can't work for is a kid who thinks he knows it all when he definitely doesn't. I, you know, a kid who has no life experience and the only thing they've ever done is drywall. I mean, come on, you know? This is my boss, so I don't know what to do. I'm not that happy with the situation. We'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, things are good. Um, got my Harley out here. Got this cheap little truck for getting around work. Gets about 40 miles a gallon, so it's pretty decent. Um, yeah, so things are going good, I guess. Not making the kind of money I wish I was, but I'm doing all right. So... Just remember, stay healthy, stay safe, and uh, go get that job and chase your dreams.